Hola amigos, we are The Roots. In this vlog, we are sharing with you the ups and downs of our mission to travel and experience as much from life as possible. Please join us on this our journey. So, Mr. Root, where are we up to now? On today's episode, we have a compilation of projects. We start repairing the dents and dings on the cargo doors, up to painting them. We then work on the back bumper, while well, a good friend tints our windows. With paint and tint done, now it's time to install the windows. So you know, removing years of pain from logs was incredibly difficult and honestly very toxic. It required the use of acid and exacto knives to be able to reach inside the small cavities. Hi. What are we doing? Uh, we're doing some body work. Awesome. Not really. Okay, not really. No. Not really? No. Okay. Not really. What are we doing? Body work. Okay. So we have to bang out some dents so we can close the doors. Yes. Yeah, so we have two doors that are damaged. They are from end to end. Someone put a big dinghy. Yeah, the driver of the, the bus. Doors. The driver of the bus. <laughs> Wasn't us. Oh, no, of course not. So we're trying to we didn't discover straighten it them out. Until we strip the paint off and all the bondo from the prior repair yes so once the bundle disappeared and we noticed that they were kind of bow okay so we're do the body job yeah good oh, yeah that's all good okay very labor intensive a lot of hammering, a lot of more grinding and sanding. And then we have to install the braces back. After that, of course, more bundle and more sanding so we could leave the doors like almost new. Honestly, Bondo is, is fun. It's like, you know, arts and crafts kind of work. Once the doors were all repaired, we installed a little paint station on the backyard to be able not just to paint the doors, but also a bunch of other miscellaneous parts of the bus that we previously removed and needed to be painted. Of course, for this, we use the same kind of primer with the NASA additive to achieve the same texture on the bus and the same kind of paint. This final process took really just a few hours. What it took more time was actually masking and repainting the locks. That took forever. The kids' help was crucial on the installation of the doors, honestly. Thank you, guys. Then we moved to the bumpers. We had to remove the back bumpers so Brian could install the receiver to be able to tow a vehicle behind the bus. And oh boy, the bumpers are so freaking heavy. Hola, señor. Hi. I just came from work and I found the back bumper almost done. Yep. Good job, señor. Thank you. It looks awesome. You think? So you say you, we can pull a city with this thingy? So 
we have a quarter inch plus thick metal bumper. Below? No. Oh, the, the bumper, bumper itself is, is actually just a tad over a quarter inch thick. Okay. So I have a half inch steel plate that I had made that cut for me. Yeah. I drilled the holes to match the actual frame. Yes. Then I plasma cut the hole in the back of the plate. Yes. And then also in the front of the plate, welded the back side of the receiver and then the front side of the receiver. Awesome. So it's double welded. Yes. And we'll show you the other side in a second. And now what I'm doing is making the holes for the chain retainer tabs. Okay. So we have to have secondary uh, restraint. Yes. So I'm going to make um, basically half inch thick tabs with a hole to okay. connect the chain. Cool. We'll use the press for that, bend it. Okay, good. So give me one second and you can see it back side. Okay. How heavy you think this bumper is? I'm so worried about the weight that we're adding to the bus. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Yeah. Cheese no. with. Okay, so this is a plate that he added, which is really heavy and really thick. You can see my finger. How thick it is in relationship to my finger. And then I was caught with a plasma cutter. Whee! <laughs> You're gonna make people dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so there. Oh, the holes are done already, baby. Well, I just yeah. have to bring them out for the bigger size. Oh, okay. Got it. But basically, the rear bumper will be ready for paint in about 10 minutes. Once Brian was done, we acid clean it, prime it. And then we use the same paint station in the backyard to paint them both, the front and back bumper. Now, putting them back in place, that, that was a monumental ordeal. They are incredibly heavy and cumbersome. What are we doing, Senor, today? And please introduce today, us to this I, handsome I guy. I like to say we. Okay. We, but I'm not going to say we because I'm not going to have anything to do with it. Okay. We, Matt here is going to tint our windows. Awesome. With so, what? What is this, Senor? So all the fixed windows and all the sliders, whatever we get done today is great, but we're going to tint them mm -hmm. with a ceramic heat blocking tint. Okay. So why you don't tell us about it, Matt? So we've got and already tinted glass, and we're gonna put a limo tin on top of this. Okay. What that is going to do is block about 70 to 80% of the heat. Okay. It's coming into the glass. Um, it also, also has like an infrared uh, blocking capability to it. Um, it's carbon, so it's not gonna fade over time, and it's gonna last a lifetime that you guys have with us. So. We'll, That's awesome. We'll apply it to the to the glass, it's got to sit for a couple days until it dries and you guys will be ready to put it in the bus. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to put, um, you have a, a, a website, a web page, something for the people that maybe want to contact you here in Arizona. Yeah, it's first responder window tinting and it's one ST okay. responder window tinting. Okay, well I will put, you need to let it, you know, write it down someone awesome. for me so I can put it on we our, on the bottom of our um, video. Yep. Okay, so people can so, contact you. All right. A little bit of introduction. Matt here is also a fellow fireman. He yep. works at my fire station. Uh, he's on C shift, I'm on B shift. Yeah. Um, so he's he's in the mix. He knows what's going on. He's good to go. He's
mío no está puesto pa'l amor Yeah, yeah Pero eso cambiará cuando ella me vea, girl Porque lo sepas Porque ella me ha cupido a pedirle un favor Yeah, 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 yeah Esperando tu DM Pa' que invites una ronda más Pa' que su labio So I gotta clean the glass twice. The first time was with the razor blade, getting all the debris off the glass. Second time is with the squeegee right before I prepare the film. Once I get the film on there, start working all the water out, getting the film to set. Right now the films overlap past the glass, so what I have to come back and do once it's set is trim the film to the size of the glass. We have a nice clean tinted window. So at this point, we finally moved to the install of the windows. The big sliders were really not a big deal. You know, they were easy. They, we cut the holes to size and it comes with screws and all kind of, you know, female, male adapters and stuff. So they were really not a big deal to install. However, the fixed windows that came from other school buses were a different story. These windows are really tricky to install. They are under pressure, first of all, and require someone to push from behind and someone to pull from the front. It honestly took all my strength to do this. For Brian, no problem. I think he has enough leftover strength to days to come, but for me, I end up incredibly exhausted. I gotta say that after lifting the roof of the bus, this must have been the most stressful part of working on the bus, by far. So this is a huge accomplishment for us because at this point, it means that the bus is sealed. So basically the roof is raised, all the metal work on the bus is done, is fully primed and painted, we have cargo doors and we have a functional electric system. Oh yeah, and we're insulated. The very next day, we pass inspection, we got a plate, and then we took it to a spin to test it, of course, all the way to Yellowstone. So stick around, watch our next videos where we share with you that our next adventure. Yes, the bus is not finished. At least it's not finished inside. For now, it's just a rolling tent, but just for now. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Please give us a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so yet. And until next time, hasta luego, amigos.